Hey, my name is Eric, and right here I'm next to my dehumidifier. I have it off right now so you can hear me, um, but I got this at a Home Depot for like 130 bucks or something, but this has helped out my basement humidity tremendously. Humidity is very important to keep it down because it just spurs bacteria and other things that can grow in your basement and make your house unhealthy. So I have it off right now, but um, the photo you can see, it's at 70% humidity, which is still kind of high. But I'm going to let this be off for 12 hours till tonight and show you just in 12 hours how bad the humidity can get in my basement. So. In this photo, you can see that when I turned my uh, dehumidifier off my basement, just in 12 hours, it got up to 95% humidity, which is not good. So without further ado, let's get into it. One of the challenging things is that I do live in Buffalo, New York, and there is a lot of humidity. Uh, right now it's uh, late October, but as you can see, the humidity here is 67% today. But what you can do is wherever you live is you can look up the weather report. I want you to find out what day in the coming weeks might have very low humidity. So 67, 71, 87, 66, 62, 64, 64. Okay, so on Monday it gets down to 62. What I'm gonna do is I wanna on that day actually open the windows in my basement. You need to get cross ventilation in your basement and also turn your dehumidifier on full blast. And that's the way you're really gonna get moisture out. What I found with my basement was I got to about 70% uh, humidity. And then when I opened the windows for about six hours, um, it got down to another 60%, which every little bit helps. So that's what I would recommend for your basement. Ideally, you want your uh, humidity in your house, in your basement, to be around 30 to 50%. Uh, mine's still a little bit over that, but like I said, it's challenging. I have an old house and I live in a very humid climate. Um, if your humidity is higher than that, you can grow um, mold and bacteria in your basement. And if you think about it, a lot of times your uh, furnaces are in your basement. So you're taking that air quality and you're pushing it up and through your house. So it can actually be bad and a problem for your entire home. So uh, hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, please comment and like below. And um, you know, if you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear them too. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you did like the video, feel free to subscribe to my channel by hitting this button right here. Um, every 50 subscribers, me and my wife cheers over a cheap glass of wine, so she'll appreciate it too. The videos are just about um, home house hacks, uh, ways to save money around the house and little stuff like that. I really appreciate and love seeing the comments and the likes on the videos too, so I really appreciate that. Thanks, and uh, hopefully the project goes well for you, too.